Hey guys, I'm the Bento Buster at Kiwi in Japan and today we're gonna have some fun with Spam. That's right, today I'm gonna make a Spam Musubi. But not your regular teriyaki Spam Musubi, this is a breakfast Spam Musubi. Oh, and it's my first time, so wish me luck. First off, you're gonna need a can of Spam. Most people cut their Spam with a knife. But today I'm gonna be using the Spam Cutter because this thing does one thing and one thing only and that's cut Spam. And to be honest, it just sits around doing nothing. So let's put this thing to work. Okay, and this is my musubi mold. Now, if you don't have one, you can actually use a spam can. And to my knowledge, they're the same dimensions. So either either, okay? And this is a musubi with a twist because instead of rice, I'm gonna be using hash browns as well as a couple of eggs. Yes, that's right, hash browns. That may be a big no-no to the purists out there, but hey, that's how we roll at Bento Buster HQ. We like to politely break the rules. Anyway, spam and potato and egg go well together, so hey, don't freak out. Okay, so let's get started. Now it's a no-brainer that these hash browns are just a little bit too big. So I'm gonna use my Masubi mold to cut these hash browns down to size. And there you go, perfect. I have to be careful because these hash browns are extremely fragile. That's because I let them defrost so that they'd be easier to cut. Okay, there we have it, two perfectly shaped hash browns. The next step is to slice up the Spam. Now, do you know what Spam is predominantly made of? Yes? No? No? Well, the answer is pork shoulder. And probably a ton of salt. Now, here's a dilemma. Which way shall I cut it? Shall I cut it this way or shall I cut it the other way? I'm sure I'm going to cut it the wrong way, so hey, why don't I just cut it the wrong way? I'm going to do that because I want to show my ignorance and also to be slightly annoying. Just to be different. Just kidding, mainly it's because I'm ignorant. And remember, ignorance is bliss. And there we have it. Now that was simple. I now have a whole heap of a regular sized piece of Spam. I know you wanted me to cut it the other way, right? <laughs> but there's no going back now. I've made my bets for a bit of laying it. Square rather than round corners, it is. But as we say in New Zealand, no worries mate, she'll be right. And to be honest, if I did cut it the other way, it's the same diff, so what's the problem? Okay, my heavy base fry pan is all oiled up and ready to go, so let's start to cook these hash browns. And of course, with these hash browns, you want to cook them until they're golden brown and crispy on both sides. And when they start to look something like this, I think they're done. Now that the hash browns are done, it's time to cook the Spam. So, put some more oil in the same pan, then chuck in your Spam. And you want to cook the Spam until it's brown and crispy on both sides. And I reckon that's about two to three minutes on both sides and that should do it. Okay, now it's that time that you've been waiting for. Spam cam time. Wasn't that worth the wait? Hope so, the Spam cam isn't cheap, you know. The Spam and hash browns are done, so now it's time to cook our scrambled eggs. Now, to make some awesome scrambled eggs, you need two things, well actually three things. A couple of eggs, some cornstarch, and some butter. The first step is to add the cornstarch to the eggs and then give them a thorough beating. And the next step is to add a knob of butter to a hot pan. Let your butter melt so it covers the whole base of the pan, then add your eggs. The next step is to take a spatula and keep those eggs moving. Now there's enough residual heat in this pan to do all the cooking by itself, so I don't need the heat anymore. I'm just going to keep on moving, working these eggs until they're nicely cooked. And be warned, the transformation takes place very quickly indeed. And before you know it, you have some pretty sweet looking scrambled eggs. Just like that. Okay, so the eggs are done, so now it's time to put this breakfast masubi together. Okay guys, now I don't want these scrambled eggs to fall all over the side, so it's time to bust out my masubi mold again. My plan is to pat down these eggs, and when I remove the mold, they should stay in place. Well, that's the plan anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's see if my plan worked. And... Aha! Yes it did. Okay, and now it's time to place one of my perfectly rectangular slices of Spam on top. Followed by the second hash brown. 
We are almost there and the masubi is almost complete. Now the final thing we have to do is wrap it in some seaweed. And there you have it guys, a breakfast spam masubi. By the way, it's extremely hot and humid here in Tokyo. So hot in fact that it's starting to soften my seaweed. So I'm taking extra care to pick this thing up because I don't want it to fall apart. But no worries, it seems to be holding together. Now it's a no brainer that the best condiment for this is ketchup. Okay, so the breakfast masubi is smothered in ketchup, and now it's time for the taste test. Well, no surprises here, this thing is delicious. And that's Yamo with a capital Y and an exclamation mark. I mean, with hash browns, scrambled eggs, spam, and ketchup, you can't go wrong. And that nori seaweed gives it some class. Yep, it makes it real classy. Okay, well, that was actually my first time at making a breakfast spam masubi. So what do you think? The flavors do work together and it's pretty simple to make. Yes, yes, I hear you. This is totally a novelty item. But hey, if you don't like rice, then this could be an option. And for those of you who have been looking for a portable way to transport hash browns, spam and scrambled eggs, then this definitely is for you. Yep, it's just a bit of fun. I think that's something that we need a bit more of these days. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Stay strong. Kia kaha.